I'm in the opera room, and today we're talking about the symptoms of gallstones. But before I do that, I want to show you something. This is a gallbladder ultrasound. You can see a bright gallstone with its posterior acoustic shadow. It also has some fluid on the gallbladder and a thickened gallbladder wall. All features associated with cholecystitis, one of the most important reasons to have your gallbladder removed. So we're back in the office, and today we're going to ask the question that you should be asking prior to gallbladder surgery. And that is, is it really my gallbladder that's causing my pain? Now to help us understand this issue, we're going to take a look at the two most common reasons where you have your gallbladder removed, and that is cholecystitis and biliary colic. Now gallbladder problems can happen in all kinds of ways. Another example would be gallstone pancreatitis or cholecystitis, where a gallstone gets stuck in the bile ducts and can cause jaundice, fever, pain, sepsis. All of those reasons are strong indications to have gallbladder surgery, but they're a little less common. So to help us understand this a bit further, let's start with the easier one to understand, and that is cholecystitis. Cholecystitis occurs when a gallstone gets stuck in the neck of the gallbladder and it can't get out. The pain, therefore, is constant, severe, unremitting, and will not go away. It usually occurs in the right upper quadrant, right underneath the ribs, and it's severe and unrelenting. You can have fever, nausea, vomiting, sepsis, and an elevated white blood cell count associated with cholecystitis. The most useful test for cholecystitis is an ultrasound. It'll show the gallstone stuck in the neck. It'll show thickening around the gallbladder or fluid around the gallbladder, clinching the diagnosis. But the most important feature of cholecystitis is that the pain doesn't go away. And for most people, surgery is really the only reasonable treatment for cholecystitis. Let's contrast that to biliary colic. Biliary colic describes these intermittent gallbladder attacks. The attacks can happen between days, weeks, or months or even years. The pain, once again, is typically right upper quadrant or underneath the ribs. It can radiate to the shoulder or the back. But what's key about biliary colic is that over time, it usually goes away. The episodes usually last between two and six hours before they spontaneously start to resolve. During the ataxo, it's terrible pain as well. And most patients say they can't do anything but try to deal with their pain during an episode. Typically, during a biliary colic episode, your white blood cell count is normal, and your ultrasound findings will typically just show gallstones without the associated inflammation, without the stuck gallstone in the neck, and without fluid around the gallbladder. Oftentimes, biliary colic episodes are associated with fatty meals, or they can occur at night. But what's most important is this intermittent, gradual onset pain that lasts, again, between two, six, or eight hours. Now, some patients will have slightly different symptoms. Not everyone will report exactly typical gallbladder pain. And this is where biliary colic can be a tricky diagnosis. And it's why if you have different symptoms than it described, it's really important to have a careful conversation with your surgeon about what to expect if you have gallbladder surgery. We know that patients who have less typical symptoms have less of a chance of complete relief when it comes to biliary colic symptoms. And it's also important to know that when you're dealing with biliary colic, the purpose of having surgery is to prevent that very next attack. And so after watching this video, I encourage you to talk to your surgeon if you have any questions about whether gallbladder surgery is appropriate for you. Well, that's it for today. And once again, thank you for watching. My name is Dr. Rich Hilsden. You're watching my channel, Knife Skills. If you want to know more about the gallbladder and gallbladder surgery, stick with me and watch this video below where I describe even more details about this common and important operation. Have a great day.